opens up as you're entering the building. Oh, do not forget to do that. What's up, guys? I got a new device in the house. Got a brand new device in the house. So definitely, what up, though? What's good? Happy Tuesday to you. You know I couldn't get down yesterday. I couldn't get down yesterday. You know what it is, right? You know what it is, national champs. Let me make sure my audio is good. Be crazy around here sometimes. What up, though? What's good? Salute everyone. What up, though? Got a new device for y'all. All right. A new device for y'all. Pretty much uh, the same thing. I'm going a, I'm to a take myself off the camera right now. So let me get back on screen. So the one thing I know I like about this device, and I have it, it comes in a box just like this. Let me turn this off just for a second. So here's the box right here. And again, it doesn't out it doesn't output 4K, but you can hook up any 4K um, device. To here all right so fire stick 
TV 4Ks, Apple TV 4Ks, Zadu, Formulas, uh, did I say Fire? All the Fire, the Fire TV Cube, the Fire Stick 4K, 4K Max. It does all of that, right? All of that. And it's pretty, pretty good. Now, one thing about this device, it comes with scheduling. All right, and that is a beautiful thing. Also, you can manual record. All right, um, I have uh, I don't made a mistake and hit the button um, with this device, and here it is right here. All right, here it is right here. All right, you see my my splitter. All right, and then you see the device itself. All right, and again, it can record anything. So if you got Plex, you, you know, Pluto and all of that, maybe you're trying to get some hard to find content, you should be good. But on mainstream applications such as Disney, Netflix, um, Hulu, yeah, you might run into some problems without this. All right. And so let me get that to zoom in. All right. That way you see it. Hopefully y'all see it. And again, if you have any questions, hold them just to the end. Let me do the presentation first. And then I will definitely answer your question. All right. I will definitely answer your question um, to this. And again, Here's the model of this device. And it's some of y'all like myself, so bro, we got so many capture devices, it's crazy. All right, so let me. All right. And the good thing about this, it does have a recorder, which I'm going to show you um, in just a second, where you can schedule. So you might say, Dale, how do I hook this up? How do I hook this up? Um what you want to do, really, if you have a splitter, whatever device you're trying to record, you want to come out of that device and go directly into the input right here, all right? You want to go into the input because on the other side, you can connect it to two different monitors, all right? You can if you want. So whatever screen you have on the, the television, you can connect it. And remember, this is the input side. So the side that has one on it, and I'll show you that, it'll, it will tell you HDMI input. All right, hopefully you, you can see that. And then you got two outputs. Output, let me cover my face because it's trying to get my face. You got output one and output two, meaning you can connect this um, to multiple monitors and do your thing. Now, let me get this on here. I have not done any voice recordings on here. All right. I have no need to voice record. But for some of y'all who might like the game on the Aver Media, let me show you this. Let me just um, unplug everything. All right, let me just make sure everything is situated. I don't get anything mixed up. Put that one on that side. And let me put this one on this side. That way nothing falls. All right. Now, one thing about this device, of course, I got a flash drive. You can use an external drive if you want. I do want to go around the device. All right. In the front of the device, you see you got a button, matte finish, but you could put some, you could connect some headphones so you can have an output of whatever you're recording as far as audio. Also in the front, you see a dedicated button. That's so when you manually want to record. So say if you, you have your streaming device on and you just want to do a tutorial video of how to set up a device. 
you can hit that button, which is what? Right here. Right here where my finger is at. You can just hit that, and it will start recording. All right? Now, on the side of it, you got the HDM. I mean, not the H. You got the uh, uh, USB, right? You got the USB intake. So you can hook an external drive up to it. And also um, any type of external uh, flash drive, hard drive, all right? Then you got a micro. All right, you got a micro. You can record and save it on there as well. Okay. In the back, it gets a little bit interesting. You got your, you see, you got your power plug. Come on. You got your power plug. You got an Ethernet port. The Ethernet is so um it'll capture your time and everything all right it'll automatically do that you got an hdmi in a hdmi output and then you see you got an ir for just in case you want to put this in the cabinet and then you got the avn you know for them older televisions but i, I find it quite interesting um when you look at the port the ethernet port um and again it captures um the time and everything you know uh so it'll connect to your network so you can have the time all right so it's pretty solid like that but i'm gonna connect everything back up all right and it's pretty straightforward um again very very easy i may do a dedicated video for this all right, but I just want to show you exactly um, what it is. Now, as, according now, when you have a flash drive or external hard drive, I did my drive as a, uh, what format? It wasn't XFAT. All right, uh, I always get this mixed up. Uh, Hold up. I do my as NTFS. All right. Um, I haven't done any other format. I have recorded on here. I recorded a, a, a video um, from Netflix, right? Um, which worked without the, the HDMI uh, splitter. I did it without the HDMI splitter, and yeah, right off Netflix. But when I tried to do Hulu, no, I tried to do Disney. Disney say, oh, nah, 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 nah. And so that's why I had to go and find my my um, HDMI splitter. And then everything, voila, connected, right? Um, so, again, I'm not familiar. If you want to use XFAT, you can try it. I use NTFS. That's with my drive. This was a brand new flash drive. That's what I use. You can you can try XFAT if you want, but all of my drives are usually NTFS. And I formatted that on my computer, all right, before I even put it onto the Aver Media. Easy Recorder 330. The thing is, this is the thing. It's pretty, pretty solid. I recorded uh, something Snoop Dogg, one of the comedies, Snoop Dogg comedies. And I think it was like an hour and seven minutes. It was one file, which is a good thing. Because sometimes you record it after like 20, 30 minutes, they start breaking them up, stuff like that. This one, it was not. It was just one large file. Now, that one large file for an hour was nine gigabytes, all right? That is a pretty large file, a very, very large file. So I had to get handbrake and just to shrink it down to make it more reasonable. And it was after that, it was good. I think when I broke it down, uh using handbrake and if you don't know about handbrake we're going to start going into that because this is i'm getting back into that teaching mode right i want you to be able to be as successful as i am 
And I, let me look at my, um, uh, let me go to my download. And I did, where you at, Snoop Dogg? I did it the other day. Where you at? 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 I'm trying to look. I guess I could have went on to my. Dang, did I, did I get rid of it? Oh, here it is right here. I shrunk it down. I went from nine gigs and shrunk it down to 1.7. All right. Shrunk it down to 1.7. Which is, hold up, is that the one? Let me just make sure I'm giving you the correct information. All right. But I did use, uh, I did use, uh, let me see. Let me just make sure. Yep, I shrunk it down to... Uh, 1.7, and I probably could have shrunk it even more, right? So, again, 9 point something gigs, shrunk it down to 1 point something. But I'm going to just make sure that I did do that. Um, I could be wrong on that. Where is it called? Uh, Snoop Dogg effing around. And to be honest... I shrunk it even lower than that, all right? I shrunk it all the way down to nine, 968.13 megabytes. So that's how uh, much I shrunk that down, which is amazing, which is crazy amazing, all right? Which is totally uh amazing all right and again i can show it to you um at least i think i can and this and i named it and everything uh and like i said 968 megabytes using handbrake all right using handbrake and the rest was history um with that being said let me get ready um, to show you, because right now I have it connected to my uh, Apple TV 4K. I will make this even larger. Let me get ready to share a screen right now. Let me present it. Uh, extra camera. Let me go into... There we, nope. I want to go into this one. I'm going to hit share. All right. So you should see the Apple TV right here. All right. You'll see me activate it as you see right here. Um, this is it right here. I'm going to see if I can make this larger. All right. Um, let's see if I can do this. The way I can leave, let me, I can leave myself on the screen. Can y'all see that? If you can see that, let me know. And again, if you have any questions, please wait to the end. I will definitely get to you. Um, and again, the device I am talking about, just in case you came in a little late, um, this is it right here.
perfectly clear so everybody is on the same page. All right. I don't want nobody saying, hey, man, hey, Dale. Uh, what is the name of that device? There it is. Please write it down. All right. Now, secondly, let me do this. Um, the remote control. I guess I should have talked about that first. Here's the remote control of that device. All right. Let me move my face out so I can get it. All right. You see, you got sources. You got the power button menu. And let me get closer. It's an IR remote, which I hate. Because if you have any of these regular devices, such as like the dude that uses the IR technology, yeah, you know, you can go through some problems. All right. You see, you got the recorder go back. You can take pictures on it. And it has everything you need from delete, rewind, uh, fast forward, play, pause, uh, recall. All of that is on this bad boy. And again, uh, let me copy my face, move my face. That is right there. And again, this is an IR remote control. And I can't stand IR because it interferes with, like, my multimedia, uh, my HDMI, my HDMI multi uh, viewer. Um, it interferes with it. So if I have everything connected here, you know, it'll definitely interfere. But I do want to bring up the menu. So I'm going to bring this down here. And... Hopefully you'll see it, all right? And so you see where I have it right here. Um, hopefully you can see it. It got the media studio, schedule list, and then you got the settings. So when you go into settings, of course you get the you can set your uh, your your language, display mode, network. This comes handy. So whenever you you plug it in Ethernet. Um, as far as Wi-Fi, I don't know if you can do it Wi-Fi, um, but when you do the automatic settings, uh, it'll give you your date, your time, and I hate that it's only milita military time only. Um, I wish they get up out of that. You see, I got a, a USB flash um, drive connected, and I got it connected HDMI, all right? Let me hit the go back, all right? I can schedule just like you. I can schedule. As you see, I did a one-time schedule right there. I'm not going to hit the play because it does have copyright material on there. I only did a 15-minute one. As you see it right there, um, it creates a folder that's called recording on your drive. That way you can go and get everything you need. And you see it right there. The recording duration 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 is um, 15 minutes, basically one second, and then it gives you the file name and stuff like that. Um, pretty solid though. Um, the one thing I do like about it is that I can hit the delete. So if I want to delete this recording right here, which I can do, I can just hit the little delete, and it asks me, "Are you sure you want to delete it?" Yes, I am sure that I want to delete it. And if I want to set up a schedule, all right, I can just hit the F1, and I know what it is. You can only record, and that is what it is. I just hit the F2, right, because what it is, this, if you have a cable box from Wild, Bright House, Comcast, um, Cox, um, Verizon, all of that, and I'll show you that right now. So if I want to go to it, uh, you see it right here. Uh, you can do your set time. You can do all of this right here. You can set up all of this right then and there. All right. All you have to just do is use your directional keys. You can do it a one time. Like if I go over here, if I want to do it uh, one time, I can. Uh, if you don't, you know, you can set it up for weekly. You can do all of that right here all right uh let me go back in and i'm gonna hit f1 all right 
And let me do this. I'm going to say F1. All right. So when you hit the F1, as you see right here, it's telling you you can hook it up to your set-top box, but hook up your IR blaster. All right. Once you have your cable box, your real cable box, your actual cable box, guys, you can hit OK, and then you can you can select the source. If you're going to go HDMI or composite, you can say, hey, I'm in America, and then look at all of this that you can set up your box for. All right. Bright House, which is um, Spectrum right now, Charter. CenturyLink, Verizon, RCN, Campus, Cox, Hawaiian Telecom, Wow, uh, Mediacom, Jackson Energy, Google Fiber, Consolidated, Cable Vision, Mid Continent, Cable One, Frontier, Sudden Link, Ritter, In Touch, Wave, and back up to the top, Comcast, DirecTV, Dish Network, AT and T, UVerse. Uh, AFN, so you can Time Warner, Sony, C Man, Bright, Odego Bright House right there. But again, Bright House is Spectrum now. And so you can go back all over here and set this up if you have one of them, these devices. But of course, we don't use these devices. So with that being said, With that being said, we could just go back because a lot of us don't use that. A lot of us don't use it, so it is what it get what it is. Again, you got HDMI input, the video, and the audio is on HDMI, HDMI pass through, and if you want to do color range, that is on you. And so. And again, you can record, record in a snapshot. You can do it at H.264, uh, which is cool. But you can also do H.265. You can do that as well. But just make sure your device, which pretty much all of our devices, we can use this. All right, we'll be able to use this, whether it's on the Fire TV Sticks, um, Zidu. Uh, on uh, uh, NVIDIA Shield, we can use all of this, you know. Uh, and this going to, like I said, it, it'll give you the best quality today. Or if you're not sure, just stay in uh, H2.64. And it tells you right here, recording settings is good. All right, so you can go optimum, good, normal. So this, will do, this has everything to do with your bit rate. Again, uh, it's up to you, however you want to do it. If you go optimal, you see the bit rate is 40 megabytes per second, but it's only going to give you a minimum of two hours and 33 minutes. If you go good, you get four hours, right? Normals, you can go 10 hours, but I'm, I'm going to leave mine as that good, right? And if you want snapshot, you can, you can keep it good. It's really up to you. Instant highlight, as you see it right there. Um, streaming YouTube, uh, not logged in. I probably wouldn't do this on this device. Uh, you can if you want. You could just stream directly to your YouTube, right? That's all you have to do. Go into here and you can do all of that. I probably wouldn't do that, not on mine, but for people who actually game on there, you can do it. You can go to Facebook, you can go to Twitch. It's really up to you. Pretty cool though that you could do that. Quality, you know what it is. You can always change this if you want. All right, you got your microphone headset. It's already on for you. You can turn it off. If you want to do a NAS recording, so if I wanted to go up in here 
and I can select whatever I record, it can go directly to the NAS. And you can do an ad, and then, you know, you can set it up and go straight there, which is pretty, 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 pretty cool. All right. Um, again, you don't have a lot of um, DVRs or PVRs that actually give you this. And again, you do your account password and you will be good to go. Then IR, power management, firmware, all of that stuff right there. So you're pretty much good with all of that. That's in the menu. But again, I'm liking this device because of the scheduling. So if you have, uh, and again, let me do this. You got, I did the schedule. You can go into, if you want to watch what you recorded, you can always go into your media and you can see everything from here. All right. These are some recordings that I've done um, on here. Again, I did do uh, Snoop Dogg. Um, you can sort this bad want this bad boy. Um, if you hit the F one, let me do this right quick.
up on screen. All right. You know you're ready because it will give you a blue light. Now, when you want to record, if you want to do a manual record, you just hit it right there. Uh, you didn't see it, but you just click on it right there. Now, I'm going to stop it, right? I'm going to stop it. And you should get this right here that comes across your screen. But when you go to record, right up in the top right-hand corner, I want you to pay attention, all right? Let me remove myself. All right, I'm going to hit the button because you see when it's recording is in red. You probably can't see it, but when it's recording, it flashes red. I'm going to hit the button or you can use your remote control, either one. I'm going to hit the button. You see it's blinking fast and then it goes back blue. 
And then it lets you know on the screen what it's about. So now, let me do this. I got the remote in my hand. All right. Let me go to the menu. All right, let me go to the media studio. And I believe this is it right, oops, right here. Maybe that's not it. All right, let me sort, because I don't know which one I left off of. All right, so once I sort it, it should be down here. There it is right there. And all I have to do is just click on it, and it will play right then and there. All right. It picks up. Again, if I had my microphone on, it would pick up. But as you see, no hands. And you see, the picture is beautiful. Man, I ain't mean that. I don't change my, uh, my camera. Hopefully, it don't move. Absolutely, it moved. Hold up. There we go. So it won't move. You see how it is? Pretty, pretty nice. Straightforward. And again, if you have any questions, please wait to the end. I'm almost done with this presentation. And again, this device is very, very, very solid. I know some of y'all, you know, they got other similar devices. Um nearly around the price range but they do not have schedule and that's the whole key to this all right it does not have um schedule and again uh pretty pretty solid and you see me again this is the recording right this is the recording that I did, that I did right there in front. And you see, some you should see the quality of this. The quality is pretty solid. I can't even lie. Again, so if you got the Fire TV Stick 4K, 4K Max, the Cube, the Light, whatever you use, um, Chromecast with Google TV, uh, NVIDIA Shield, uh, who else? Uh, Apple TV 4K. Zidu, uh, what other device we have? Formula, Buzz TV. Um, what else we got over in this joint? Whatever else we use. Um, as you see, I'm not doing anything. All right, I'm just rubbing my fingers, my hands together like I'm bird man, and cash money. Salute to everybody. I'm just trying to get you to enhance your experience when it comes to core cutting. All right. When it comes to core cutting, this is one of the, the, the things you would need really when it comes to a hard to get content. And to be able to set a, a scheduled recording and go to work or go to the store and know as long as everything, your, your power, you don't have any issues, you will be fine. And come home and it will be there. Not only can you watch it on your television, you can take your flash drive out, hook it up to your computer, and watch it from there as well. You should be able to take your flash drive and connect it to another television. Maybe you got a, a television in your um, bathroom, you know, and it got a USB port in the back of it, and it's hanging on your wall. Before you get in your tub and take your relaxing bath, what you can do is just plug it directly um, into the input, and you can play it right then and there. All right, and there you have it, right there, guys. The, Av the, the Avermedia, right? Easy Recorder 330. And it's pretty, again, it's pretty, pretty, 
pretty solid, straightforward, and um, it's easy to use. It's easy, and for one hundred and nine dollars, I, I think is is well worth it. But again, let me go back here. This is it right here. do like it and it's and it's very very good it works if you have any questions if you have any questions this is your time to ask it right now i think i pretty much mentioned everything that it does uh, but i look forward to your questions again this is one of them devices that you know everybody can use and i think at 109 dollars um, it's pretty solid. Now, again, it's only going to do one recording at a time. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Now, they, I do have another device where you can set multiple recordings, but you're going to be paying like 300 and something dollars. You know, we could talk about that another time, but this one is strictly. All right. So, again, $109 on uh, Amazon in the States. Uh, Dale, 131 31 bucks and say goodbye to all streaming services. Uh, just rotate them. Who pay $131 for... I don't get it, Tom. What you paying $131 for? You say, damn, Dale, 131 bucks. And say goodbye to all streaming services. Just rotate them. I mean, it it just depends. Some people gonna keep them all. Uh, some of these some of these apps we get for certain family members in the house. You know, it is what it is. What you mean, Kenny B? Give me some more. Uh, I said it records in MP4 only, or can you change recording file types? XMKV. Um. I, re I saw it record in MP4 um, only. As far as I know, it only went to MP4. But we all know there are certain programs, Kenny, that you can go. And I actually changed it in Handbrake. We'll talk about Handbrake again this week um, where you could take a file. And yes, what you can do with it. Is shrink the mess out of that bad boy. And it you can change it from MP4, MKV, all type of formats. Yup, you can do it. But you have to use another um program to do that, Kenny. Tom say, can you 
Can you record from streaming services apps to your own device folder to keep even in your uh you can you can record it from any subscription service but just know you probably going to need an hdmi splitter with the bypass option all right the hdcp bypass my question was about something you mentioned the other day uh well uh what's the question sir please let me know top cat what's up baby say hey superhero and everyone in the chat big salute thank you for the donation i appreciate it i appreciate it salute you see i'm rocking that michigan national champs over here you know what it is thank you sue i appreciate it lady sun goddess i know you out there listening what's up baby miss billy uh hopefully chuck is home if chuck is home tell him i say salute uh and hope everything is well with the homie chuck also guys while y'all in here um send your condolences to j mac uh his father uh passed away uh what's today tuesday might have been either yesterday or sunday uh so condolences going out to the mac family uh you know just send him some good some good prayers um going his way you can email him i don't know if y'all some of y'all got his email but definitely send him some love uh as they're going through a a a tough time right here uh you know uh so definitely my condolences j mac uh Dale, do you keep the recordings when you cancel? Yeah, I, yeah, I keep my recordings. Yes. Yes, I keep all my recordings. I just put them on my NAS or an external drive, either one. See, I still have the first version of the NVIDIA Shield. You said it's not king anymore. No, I don't believe the NVIDIA Shield is king anymore. Let me tell you this. Not to get off track, I'm going to answer this question. What is it that, I ask you this, what is it that the Shield can do that other devices can't do? Um, Pretty much every device, as far as Apple TV 4K, on devices, Chromecast, all of them can play 4K. Now, the only thing I would say, they may not have all of the audio codecs, um, or, you know, they may not have that. But the only reason I would get an NVIDIA Shield in today's time, um, if you like, maybe you got a home theater, something like that. Um, But uh, if you have that, I understand. But a lot of devices do the same thing. The only thing, honestly, other than a, a few audio and video codecs um, that the Shield have, um, a lot of these other devices um, have the same thing as well. So I don't believe it's king anymore. Nobody, you don't, you don't see a lot of people even talking about the Nvidia Shield or even doing videos on the Nvidia Shield anymore. Uh, they doing it on a lot of other devices other than the Shield. And so, I, yeah, I don't believe it's king anymore um, because we have so many options. So, I mean, it's so many options. Like, I, I got a Vizio Elevate soundbar. At the time, before I bought it, was $1,000. Every device I hook up to it sounds beautiful on that, on that, on that, um, that audio device up there. I mean, from the bass, shaking my floors, to the crisp sound that's coming out of the speakers. Uh, now, I'm not saying that, you know, if you got a home theater, then yes, I will understand you going with the, the, the NVIDIA Shield. But for the typical home uh, that doesn't have a home theater audio, I think you would do good with a $20 or $30 device or even a $150 device. That's just my take on it. What's a better box? That really comes 
down to you and what you want. Um, um, Siren. Again, I got I got the NVIDIA Shield, I got an Apple TV, I got a Z um 1000 Pro, I got a Zadu uh a, a Zadu um 1000 Pro, I got a Zadu uh uh a Zadu Z uh 20 Pro. I got a few Zadus. Uh I got formula device. I, it just really comes down to your preference and what you want. Some people like boxes strictly for IPTV. So they might get a device like Formula or Buzz TV because they can care less about anything else. They can care less about watching movies and everything like that. All they do, they care about, you know, uh, IPTV. And so you got boxes that cater to your IPTV. You got people who want to learn how to start their own movie content they want to they want to learn it so they get a device and they want to put all of their movie library content on their network they don't know how to use a nas where they get a device like zadu which i would say if you get a zadu and you got iptv make sure you use a premium app along with putting your content on the zadu and allowing your zadu to um, share everything across your network using other streaming devices such as the shield such as the on streaming fork i mean the on streaming these right here <laughs> you can use something anything with google tv um anything pretty much your phone zadu will talk to your phone using a certain application so it just depends uh it just depends she say Rome. <laughs> yeah, in <and> soccer. <laughs> we 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 got them off our we we smacked them up too real. We smacked them up too. What up though? Wow, Dale, that is awesome. I can get Gasmo and share subs. I don't know what gas go is, but yeah, you probably can. What up, though, Al C? What up, though? Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Big salute. Big salute. We'll say, yeah, go Big Blue. You see him rocking. No guy on my Detroit, even though the Detroit Pistons is trash right now. But I'm going to rock him, right? I'm going to rock him. Yup, so... Again, pretty, pretty solid. Say DRM sucks as well at Microsoft and Crapple. Man. Miss Billy, salute Dale and everyone in the chat. Yes, Chuck is home and doing well. We appreciate all the well wishes. Salute Miss Billy. Tell Chuck I say what's up. Glad to see him back home where he need to be with his lovely wife. You know, that's what it's all about. It's all about. You know we are headed. You know we are headed. And boy, you know, my wife got on me. <laughs> she got on me. And, you know, hey, we, we know what it is, Miss Billy, but I'm just glad he back home. You know, uh, you know, and that's that's where he need to be. You know that's where he need to be, home, so he can he can get back strong and do what he does best. You know, make money and make his wife proud. So that's what it's all about. Thank you, Miss Billy. Salute, big salute. That's one of our queens right here. Speaking of that, did you get your surround hooked up? No, I did not. Not yet, Kenny. I ain't even pulled the trigger on that bad boy. I ain't even pulled the trigger yet. No problem, Siron. No problem. No problem. So for example, if you were recording a two-hour film, how long would that take? It would take two hours. Um, if you do a recording of, uh, of a film, it, it records in real time. 
All right. But now if you go to handbrake and depending on your settings, and again, I will show you my setting. A lot of people use handbrake differently. Uh, I will show you my settings and depending on how big that file is, again, that Snoop Dogg was nine gigs and it took it almost an hour to get it to 900 and something. All right. Let me see if I can, if I can bring it up. All right. Let me just do this. Uh, let me see if I can bring it. Uh, uh, let me see. And I will show you. Yep. And so let me do this. I can show you the size of it right here. As you see, um, I named it. <laughs> I named it Snoop dot dogs, right? Dot effing, right? Dot around dot 1080p dot 2022. Now it was in MP4 because I recorded it on the Evermedia. And as you see, I shrunk that bad boy down to 968.1 megabytes. I changed it from MP4 to MKV, Kodak, HEVC, bit rate two megabytes per second. All right. And it took, for a nine gig in my settings, it took almost an hour to do this. I'm trying to see if I can, let me see if I can find, all right, let me see something. I don't know if I if I end up deleting it. Let me see something right quick. Where's my? I might have deleted that bad boy. I think I end up deleting it all. Yep, I think I end up getting rid of that big old file. Yep, I think I end up getting rid of that big old file. But let me see something. Let me do a search. Because I should, I think I should have it. Unless I just totally deleted it. I think I must have totally got it up off, off my, uh, you know, I must have totally got it up off of here. You know, I think that's what happened. I totally got that bad boy, but yeah, I shrunk that bad boy using handbrake. And so we, we will go into that, uh, if not tomorrow, later in the week. What up though, C. Oliver? What up, Brandon? What's good? Hope all is well. So, again, guys, you can be as successful as I am um, using this. This is, again, this is not a bad device, all right? It's not a bad device to use. Um, again, uh, can't go wrong with this device, all right?
you know, the HDCP. All right. Oh, man. Man. Getting tired over in this joint. Absolutely. You would definitely need that. Make sure you do your research. You need it to bypass. All right. You need it to get through. And just read. When you go on there, just read. I'm not going to tell you. You, you. you can do it because a lot of times if I go on there and they be selling so much product on here, they give you the wrong information. What up, though, Rich? What up, Darren? Calvin, what up, though? See, Oliver say, you still there? I am here. Um, it, it pretty much does the same thing. If you got the Cloner Alliance and they got the schedule, you are good. It just, it's a little bit cheaper than the Cloner Alliance. If your Cloner Alliance, uh, uh, it does have one of the best user-friendly interfaces. Now, I will say that it's pretty solid. Uh, and I will pull it up. That way you can see it. It does have an easy to go user interface. As you see right there, it tells me I got four hours and one minute. It gives me the time and military time right there. Um, it lets me know it's 7.58 uh, p.m. Uh, so again, if you go, oh man, I keep forgetting about that. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. And the only thing about it, it is an IR remote. So if you got a multi viewer or any device that's near it that uses uh, the IR signal, it will interfere. But as you see, you can you can record, you can do all of that. All right. Here it is. Matter of fact, look at this. If you look at this, let me remove myself. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but the file size is right there, um, right on the bottom right-hand side. You see 8.9 gigabytes, 8.9 gigabytes, all right? That's what it says right there. I don't know if y'all can see it on y'all end, but at least I can, right? I can see it. Uh, and again, you see the duration, duration of the video is one, oh, one hour, seven minutes, 23 seconds, uh, file size 8.9, all right, 8.9, but with handbrake, let me remove this. I just want to make sure, can y'all. All right, I done knocked myself out. <laughs> I knocked myself out the video. Could y'all see that 8.9? Could y'all could y'all see that 8.9? You say my audio. Could y'all see the 8.9? Let me know. Yeah, I knocked myself out. Sorry about that. All right, my bad. Yeah, I knocked myself out. 
Uh, let me do this. All right. So it says 8.9, right? 8.9. So now what I'm going to do, let me remove this right quick. And again, when I go into my Plex, you'll see that I use, there it is right there, 968. So I shrunk the mess out of this. Yup. I shrunk the mess out of this. Yup. I shrunk it and it went all the way, like less than an hour again. Depending on your settings, everybody use different settings when it comes to, uh, you know, handbrake. You know, it really comes down uh, to personal preference. So, all right. So, you can do the same thing uh, when you're recording in real time. That's just how it is. Right? That's how it is. Yep, that's just how it is. Sometimes, you know, it, it just, the file be so big and it be one big file. All right, one big file. So any questions for me? Any, any, any questions for your boy? And again, I wanted to go live yesterday, but you see what it is? You see what it is, right? National champs. They said we cheated in everything. All we did was wipe out the Big Ten, including you Ohio State guys, a.k.a. Don URL King. We smacked y'all up. Then we smacked Ohio up. I mean, not Ohio, Iowa up. Shoot, we didn't even let them score any points. Then we went to the playoffs. We smacked up that elephant road tide like, get out of our way. We had an old boy running for his life. And there was some big steak and potato eating guys down there. You know them cats eat good down in Alabama. I couldn't imagine the football the football team meal um, during the season. I know that sucker probably over uh five million dollars just in food alone all right and then we had to let washington know you know we had to oh man we broke him up we only sacked him once but we hit him this cat oh my goodness boy he was a wounded boy we we just had to do what we had to do all right they suspended our coach what for six games all right and we still came through we still came through and let them know. Y'all just gave us, but honestly, without the suspension and all that, I don't know if we would have won championship, but y'all gave us fuel. You know what I'm saying? Gave us fuel, and that's what happened when you give us fuel. All right? Kenny, pick salute. Thank you, Kenny, for the love, man. I appreciate that. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you own all of that because probably tomorrow, really, if I'm feeling good, if I got the energy and all of that, I'm feeling good, uh, we would definitely get into handbrake because a lot of y'all need to know about handbrake. Really, if you go into this type of cord cutting right here, using devices like this, all right, using devices like this, and again, if you don't have one of this, one of these, I suggest that you get it. That way you can do a lot of stuff. You ain't got to sit back and wait on it. Maybe you watching some type of sporting event and you want to add it to your Zadu. Maybe you want to add it to your Plex or you want to add it to your MB, Jellyfin, Cody, whatever you want to add it to, you could do it. A handbrake would take that big, large file and... 
shrink that bad boy and you will be surprised like wow yep. yeah they can't they can't mess with us man they can't mess with us so bro i've been telling cats i'm like listen the only team i was scared of was alabama i'm not gonna lie because alabama was i don't know how they jumped from number eight to number four but you know, and rightfully so, because Florida State got their tails whipped. And, you know, with that, Michigan would have demolished them boys the way they look. But we just went on and took it out on, you know, our homie um, Nick Saban. You know, how you jump four spots? Boy. <clears throat> now, now people saying, oh, uh, if Georgia was in the playoffs – Right? If Georgia was in the playoffs, Georgia would have whipped y'all. Georgia got other problems to worry about, a.k.a. Alabama. Don't worry about us if you couldn't make the playoff. You went from number one to number five or number six or something like that. You know, so don't worry about it. Don't come with that what if or if they was in it. Hey, man. Like they say, if if was a spliff, we be all messed up. They don't say messed up; they use the f word. All right. So that's just how it is. Kenny, did I give Kenny a salute? Big salute, Kenny. I'm gonna wear this Michigan hat all week. Right on the show. Right on the show. You say my audio went out again? My audio is out? You say my audio is out? Oh, okay. Yeah, Darren said no audio. I'm about to say. Thanks. Thanks, Rubiel. Thank you. All right. So Kenny, Kenny might be in the back. No, no, not Kenny, but um Darren, he might be coming up when I lost audio. So we should be good. But again, you know, I can't I can't hey, listen, I know I know how it is. I believe me. Now, next year might be an issue because we losing quite a bit of folk. Good chance we lose our coach. Uh, and it is what it is. It is what it is. But, you know, we good. We are good. Super Dale, welcome to the 15 Old Club with my bud, dog. Thank you for taking out Rhoda. Yeah, we had to take them out, man. And again, one of my boys, his son, played for the team. You know, my boy D, D Payne, senior. Not Junior, D. Payne, because D. Payne Jr., uh, Damon Payne Jr. plays for Alabama. But his daddy was trying to separate us. We've been Michigan fans all our lives. He tried to separate. Hey, y'all better cheer for my cheer for my son. I say, oh, no, hey, man, hey, I wish him luck, man, but Michigan got to win. So, Spade, what it do? What it do? Had to let him know. We had to smack him up. Kicked him. We kicked. We kicked. We had to kick Washington in a, you know what? <laughs> my, man, my man got an arm, though. My man got an arm, but by the time it, that game, hey, did y'all see him walking up the, up the hallway? Boy, oh, hold up. Let me get all this wire and everything. That cat was walking up the hallway. They had him walking like this. Boy, you know when you got him walking like that, boy, you know something. Boy, I ain't never saw no quarterback. That cat. <laughs> oh, man. I say, dang, they broke him down. He, 
by him walking like that, I don't know if he might he might have lost uh uh he, he might go to the second round after all of that. But the, he, he, I mean he had the towel over his face. Where my shirt at? Give me a shirt. That cat was just like this. I bug crap you not. He was like this. <laughs> and they called his name. He looked up. He was crying. <laughs> they hit me too hard. <laughs> he was walking up just like this. I said, damn. Did they break his ribs? I'm talking about they was owning. I said, oh, my goodness. I said, oh, my goodness. Did they break him up like that? Yeah, they broke him up. And that's how you do it. Y'all ain't never saw a quarterback out of all the years they uh uh in the college football uh playoffs championship. Now they done broke up some quarterbacks where they didn't make it to the end of the game. They was gone. But you never saw one at the end walking. He's still walking to the locker room to this day. <laughs> the game was yesterday. He's still walking. He finally made it to the press conference, and he was sitting there like this. Broke him up. I say that's how you do it. Had him fearing for his life. We only got one sack. One sack. Put him on his tail, though. Put him on his tail. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you do it. That's how you do it. You might not, I mean, you ain't got to have 20 sacks. But we let him know every time you, if we get there. And they was only running, they was only rushing for. We barely even blitz. Dude was, woo. Woo, my goodness. It was a tough one because it shouldn't even been that close. I'm going to tell you, the one thing Michigan doesn't have is a go-to receiver. All right? They definitely going to need that. They definitely going to need a go-to. I mean, broke his behind up. Penix was... Uh, uh. That cat was 27 for 51. 27. 27 completions. 51 passes. 255. One touchdown. Two interceptions. He was broke. Broken. <laughs> I said, damn, they broke him. They broke him. Oh, they was like, they was like, uh, what they say? Washington have what? Pretty much the best offense. I mean, yeah, offensive line. She okay. And then you had all them haters. What's my man who got Pat McAfee? What's his name? Knowing he should have picked Michigan, but he thought Alabama was gonna beat us. So sometimes you just gonna have them haters. He everybody up on that panel say, Hey, look, man, I think it's gonna come down to that running. And you know, at the end, who who gonna be battle tested, you know? All of them picked Michigan except for one. Everybody in the world picked Michigan. Even Washington picked them. The Huskies said, yeah, we're going to give it. Before the game, they said, yeah, we're going to give it to Michigan. Uh, I was like, oh, my goodness. Hey, Oh, Tim say, do that walk. Oh, uh, 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 he was like this. Hey. <laughs> that cat was like this, Tim. Walking up the hallway. <laughs> They had the audio on. And they say, hey, Mike. He did this. Huh? Huh? 
I mean, dude, they show, it took him 45 minutes to get off the dang on field. He was like this. <laughs> hey, Mike. Can I say, huh? Uh, they said, can we get all the grab? The cat was like that. I say, damn. I say, damn, Mike. But they were saying, man, by him acting like that, if he act like that in college, can you imagine in the pros what they going to do with him? They're going to have to get him in the weight room. They're going to have to get him in the weight room. Straight up. They're going to have to beef him up, get him in the weight room. I'm telling you. They're going to have to get him in the weight room. Because that right there show, shows you everything you need to know. Shows you everything you need to know. You hit him a couple times. Listen, that's in college. You know what they're going to do to him in the NFL. You know it's going to be somebody that's going to boom. Even after they blow the whistle dead. Boom. Just to hit him. Just to knock him off his square. You already know. I'm telling you. And I like him too because he got an arm. Man, that too. He got an arm. He got an arm. He got an arm, but yeah, man. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But 34 to 13. 34 13. One touchdown by them cats. One touchdown. What up, though, Daryl? Happy New Year's. Happy New Year, man. Yeah. Uh, he say, you got to, you got two Georgia Bulldog fans up in here. Both names are William Brown, small world. Yeah, Georgia would have got that work too. Hey, listen, I believe, I believe, to be honest, I believe Michigan could have got Georgia. I think Georgia were vulnerable this year. I think they were well, that be that 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 was proven. And I like Georgia. But I think it was a lot of pressure on them to three peat. Um, some injuries. Um, you know, um uh, a lot of like Georgia, uh, you know, I don't know what it is about Georgia and Alabama. But I mean, I guess it's it's a rivalry. But uh, they they picked Georgia to win it next year. That might be true. Yeah. But I I I I I don't know. You just never know, cause we we would never know. That's like people saying who would have been the best between LeBron and Mike. You know, uh, I don't know. In their prime, I just don't know. I don't know. Two different two different scores. Um, two different guys that that facilitate the game, um, you know, and do things accordingly. You know, Mike was a killer in um, in scoring the basketball. LeBron can do scoring, passing, rebounding, all of that as well. So it it would have been good to see both of them in their prime. You know, going at it, it would have been nice. I can't even lie to you. It would have been nice. Tim say, yo, I needed that good laugh for my birthday today. Appreciate it, Dale. You had me in tears, bro. Hey, Tim, big salute, man. Happy birthday. That's always a great thing. Happy, happy birthday, man. That's what's up. Hopefully everything is well, Tim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I can believe that. The, the deep, but again, you know, when you lose Georgia... Georgia was losing a lot of people each year, though, you know? So it, it was only good, you know? I mean, I ain't going to say it was only good. It was only bound to happen, you know what I'm saying? You know, it was only, it was only, you know, it was, unfortunately, it was going to happen one of these days. Oh, Big Tim, happy birthday. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to get ready to get up out of here. 
You know, I've been going, what, hour and 35 minutes, you know, but, you know, I had to represent, you know, put on that, 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 that blue, that maize and blue, all right, maize and blue, so, you know, we, I'm just back here looking, looking at some stuff, all right, I don't know, I think I got a, I got some shoes, I think my, my son got me for my shoes or something. I don't know. Something seem off down in this mall. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Yeah. No, no after shows today because I got to go to work. I got to go to work. I do it on Fridays. Nope, but uh, I definitely do it on Fridays. Say Alabama, Georgia is the red clay that produced that healthy protein. Protein, and Elijah, I know about that red clay, man. I I know when I come to Alabama, I'm gonna just wear me some cowboy boots. I would not be wearing anything white. Shoot, I ain't wear like I wouldn't dare wear nothing like this down there. I wouldn't dare. Can you imagine the color they would be after I hit that red clay? Nothing white. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. I learned my lesson. Boy, I went down to Alabama fresh. Had on my uh my guest jeans. No, my guest shorts. Had my guest shirt on. Them cats down there was wearing uh, Reeboks and uh, Jabot jeans. That's what it was, Jabot's. I went down there. Fresh as heck, had on some all white Air Force Ones. Oh my goodness, why did I do that? It was a wrap. It was written. Shoes never, never, ever, ever was the same. So, never. So, anyway, guys, I'm about to get ready to get up out of here. Um, if you need some more questions on this, um, you know, maybe the, the, the show Friday. We can address this. Again, this is the Ava Media Easy Recorder. 3.30. All right? 3.30. Again, it's very, very nice. User-friendly. Nice, nice, nice. That's the greatest thing. Other than that, guys, salute to y'all. Salute. It's always fun being with y'all. I got to get ready to go up here and jump in the shower and get ready for bed and get up in the morning and go to work. I appreciate all the love, guys. And um, we'll talk soon, all right? Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Shout out to my brother, Spade. Maven's big salute, Spade. And uh, everybody who donated, big salute to you as well. Thank you, guys. Chuck, salute, bro. Salute, salute. Glad you back home. Chuckster, big salute, man. I love hearing... Great, great stories. You know what I'm saying? I love that. Love you, Miss Billy. And I will talk to y'all in a little bit. Top Cat, what up, though? Lady Sun Goddess, what up, though? What's good? All right. Talk to y'all a little bit, guys. Love y'all. Salute. Peace. Be safe. I'm out.